This is truly a time of reflection for me because I used to be so freaking sad every day. And it's been like four years since my trauma has began. And I've evolved so much. And I'm so grateful. But it also makes me nervous because I know that like, you know, life keeps going on and there's so much that I don't know. And it's like a big chapter of my life has concluded. And now I don't know where where I'm going from here. But I got to keep in mind that I never knew where I was going ever. So it's just weird. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And uh, um, I'm just pushing forward. It makes me nervous, but in a good way, because I'm expecting good things. I don't know what to expect, really. I don't think I ever really knew. It's only upon reflection that I realized that I've been blessed so much, and everything that I've ever gone through has been divine and in perfect order, and it's happened for a reason, and a lot of my traumatic experiences have been a catalyst for my personal growth. And I think that now I'm at a point where I don't have to rely on trauma to grow. Um, I don't know how I feel. I don't feel stagnant. I feel like I'm moving forward daily. It's like the possibilities are endless. It's like I'm hopeful for the future. And I'm not sure if I've ever felt as hopeful as I do right now because my current circumstances are just so privileged and blessed and I'm I'm honestly satisfied but I know that this is not where I'll always be just because I feel like it's impossible not to encounter change along the way in this life things are never the same nothing lasts forever I feel like I have the ability to trade in one happiness for another, though. And, of course, there are going to be times where I'm not happy and when things aren't necessarily working out. So it's balance in the universe, and you take the good with the bad when you're alive. But I'm just trying to find comfort in the fact that I'm just so happy. Like, it doesn't feel right to just be so happy and content because I'm always used to being on edge and anxious and worried and having to plan for this and having to suffer through that. And now it's like, I don't have any obligations that are overly demanding. My kids are getting older and my responsibilities have evened out and even lessened in some circumstances. And I don't know, it's just things are so smooth that it feels abnormal. I'm not used to things going smoothly, I guess. I'm used to having to face some type of adversity. I think it's been that way for a long time. And now it's like I don't feel like I'm facing any any challenges that I can't overcome. And I guess I've never faced anything that I couldn't overcome because I've overcame everything. I don't I think this is like the downside of being an overthinker is very annoying. It's very irritating. Sometimes I wish that I could just exist and not think about it. But I think about my life and its meaning and its purpose every day. And that's very annoying. So I'm trying to take it easy. I am taking it easy, you know. I'm doing my hobbies. I'm taking care of the kids. I'm you know, reflecting and things like that. I don't know why my brain is so complex that I have to make everything a thing. Why can't I just, you know, party and bullshit like Biggie, you know? <sighs> Thanks for listening to The Hobbyist today. The Hobbyist um, is a complex being. Some days I want to twerk and be ratchet. Some days I want to sit down with a good book. Some days I want to crochet. Some days I want to watch Chopped on the Food Network. I don't know. I like reality TV. I'm a 
a little weird. I don't know. I'm just justing. I'm just just. Yeah. I'm just living. So, yeah. Toodaloo. Take care of you. Boing.